All right, so now I'm gonna put color down. I did erase a little bit of pencil lines here. I had gotten, you know, sometimes you get your perspective a little off. Um, Tinkerbell is not so sure I know what I'm doing. Anyway, I have to prove her wrong. So I'm adding a little bit of yellow and uh, chrome green. I like a little chrome green. You could even add um, straight yellow if you wanna get a little brighter with it. Uh, you can make color in different spots, for instance. Now, um, in my case, I have a tendency to, to go for the shadows first. Right now, what I'm trying to do is figure out where all these the greens go here. I just wanna kind of block them out a little bit so that I know where they go. And um, that's a bit, a bit conservative. Um, I'm gonna go for a little bit more Sorry about the video work on this. Um, I'm gonna go for just the shadow areas, remember? And look, even, even with that, it comes out pretty light. So I'm using the broad brush again because I don't want to get too caught up in the, the weeds of the details, okay? So um, I'm leaving, I'm trying to leave a few of these uh, lights alone. Okay, I'm gonna use my brush like this to, to brush some of these palm frond things in and uh, I can always, you know, add yellows and darker greens later. Right now, I'm just blocking in the shapes. Um, so, you know, you can get bolder than this if you want, um, and I probably should. But right now, I like to get the shapes kind of lightly established. Okay, same thing here. I've got a little tree off in the distance there, you see. And I'm going to put a little bit of um, green here, okay? let it come on down into the tree and um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over here to my slightly smaller brush and I'm gonna go for a few of the the greens here I'm gonna put a few of these greens liberally in here uh, you can also go more for like a, a rusty green um, kind of look here um, and I, I like to kind of just let some of this stuff bleed together because uh, it, it just seems to look better when you do. If, if it's running too far, you can just, you know, if you've got one of these easels, you can oh, tilt it a little bit. Um, this stuff takes a little practice, my, fr my friend, so, uh, you know, you'll, you'll have to kind of keep that in mind. You know, don't be too hard on yourself. When you're doing all these uh, details outdoors like this um, it can be a little bit overwhelming but it's part of the fun is if it was easy everybody would be doing it and this is a guest who's coming to dinner poster uh, just in case uh, little theater wants me to plug their their thing um, I'm what I'm doing here is I'm trying to mix up a fairly dark color which I shouldn't be doing right now um, I wish I wasn't but I'm gonna go for it uh, there's a little logo up here and um, I'm gonna pretend there's writing here and then uh, I shouldn't have done that because it's so dark if I screw that up um, I run the risk of um, you know getting off on a tangent I don't need there's a little there's a little building here sorry there's a little building here and um, I'll come to, back to that later I'm, I'm not really interested in that okay so um, I'm gonna try to make a little bit of a gray here um, I need a bit more red I guess and maybe some blue you can see because of my filming you have to actually come and see it in person because I'm not the best filmer of painting ever. Um, all right, I'm trying to get having a little trouble finding the exact. If you if you if you if you're running around in circles, just wipe a spot up like that. You can also get some fresh water. 